Okay guys, as promised, I did finish this by the way, finally. It's Mastro Bizarro, Room Mag Org Magazines. An essential manual of mysterious monsters by Lyle Blackburn. This is a great little, uh, what's it say, say, magazine size, uh, almost like a trade paperback. And it's just awesome. It's cool. And all kinds of cool stuff in this, in here. You can see some, uh, some stuff there. All kinds of cool stuff. The forward is by the director of the movie Exists, Eduardo Sanchez. And introduction by Lyle Blackburn, who compiled this and wrote some of the articles. The first chapter is all about Bigfoot. The first chapter of this. It's all about squ it's getting squatchy in here. It's getting pretty squatchy. And uh, there's uh, this is this is mainly an article about Bigfoot movies and Yeti movies also. Everything from <clears throat> Sasquatch the Legend of Bigfoot to Harry and the Hendersons to Revenge of Bigfoot. That's a very rare movie. Very rarely seen. In fact, it's very hard to find this movie. Suburban Sasquatch, which is a more recent film. Some other recent films. Yeti. Fear of the Forest. Bigfoot, The Lost Coast Tapes. Exists. One called Valley of the Sasquatch. Bigfoot versus the People. This was an article on the Patterson Gimlin film. Lyle Blackburn interviewed not only Bob Gimlin, but also the late Philip Morris. He wanted to get both sides, of, the, of both perspectives. He didn't just want to uh, talk to Bob Gimlin, although it is good that he talked to Bob Gimlin. But he got both sides of the, of the argument. We'll just put it that way. There's a picture of Roger, a picture of Bob Gimlin. That was at the 2009 Yakima Bigfoot Roundup. I remember, I remember him wearing that shirt. Legend of Bigfoot. That must be the... I wonder if that's from the store. The one in uh, Garberville, California. I actually have the original magazine that this article is in. It's the, one of the issues of Rue Morgue magazine from 2011. But, you know, the first, the first chapter is all about Bigfoot, Bigfoot movies, Bigfoot and popular culture, Legend of Boggy Creek. A lot of stuff from um, Lyle Blackburn's book. The Beast of Boggy Creek. Kind of hard to keep to leave this open. There's a great article by Ken Gerhard about Bigfoot. No, there's actually two articles by Ken Gerhard. Top 10 Creatures of Cryptozoology. There's a great article on the Mothman by Nick Redfern. He kind of examines the, uh, the the original book, The Mothman Prophecies, by John Keel, which uh, was turned into a, a popular movie, which starred Richard Gere and Laura Linney and um, uh, Deborah Messing. There's the famous Mothman statue in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. A few movies as well as one called Eyes of the Mothman. Apparently that's a documentary. So there's Legends on Film, The Hunt for Cryptid Cinema, and uh, Creepy Canines, Wolf Men, if you believe in that sort of thing, Cryptids on Camera. There's the, that's a rare photo of the Lake Worth Monster. Now the sighting that I had in 1998 was very similar to that, except it was it was it was pointing it was in the opposite direction. 
it was just like that except in the opposite direction just imagine a mirror image of this of this image Beasts of the Bazaar there's also stuff for the files of Lyle Blackburn and Ken Gerhard here's an article about uh, Jeremy Wade the host of River Monsters who has who has looked for who, who has gone after freshwater uh, weird creatures large fish and all kinds of creepy uh, river and lake denizens death the Mongolian death worm which kind of has maybe a little bit of um, tie-in with uh, the movies the tremors movies creatures among us and uh, all kind of like creature from the black lagoon the alligator people and stuff like that lizard man there's parts or there's parts of uh, Lyle, Lyle Blackburn's excellent book lizard man the true story of the Bishop Vale monster and also cryptid culture I mean you got these uh, cryptid cinema posters that's of course from Minerva monster Bigfoot Wars half human some classics right here on this page. Here's some more recent ones. Willow Creek, Throwback. That's Yeti. I think that's Giant of the 20th Century. That's a German poster. Loch Ness Horror. Even an article about those who search for cryptids. There's all kinds of interesting stuff like from the files of Ken Gerhard, from the files of Nick Redfern, David Weatherly. And Lyle Blackburn. Here's even a, 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 a death metal group called Troglodyte. They call themselves Bigfoot Metal. There are two of their albums, Welcome to Boggy Creek and Don't Go in the Woods. Even a profile on small town monsters. Yes, that's pretty cool. Legendary toys. Look at this. Even, of course, Creature Replica is well represented. There's the Six Million Dollar Man, um, Bigfoot, Bionic Bigfoot. Also, uh, Toys R Us released these Animal Planet sets, which I don't think you can get anymore because uh, Toys R Us is out of business. They have the, 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 the Bigfoot and the Yeti sets. You might be able to get those on uh, eBay. There's a uh, the Bigfoot lunchbox, Marchie McPhee. Even profiles on the Museum of the Weird, the International Cryptozoology Museum, Monster Mart. Yes, I've been there. I've been to the Monster Mart. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's great. Monster Mart rocks. Right there in Falk, Arkansas. One called An Exhibition of Dark Imagination. Top 10 Bigfoot books. These are the books you got to have in your collection. And uh, number one is Sasquatch the Apes Among Us by John Green. Number two is Ivan Sanderson's Abominable Snowman Legend Come to Life. Number three is Sasquatch Legend Meets Science by Dr. Jeff Meldrum. Number four is Bigfoot Sasquatch Evidence by Dr. Grover Krantz. Bigfoot, The True Story of Apes in America, Lauren Coleman. The Bigfoot Casebook, number six, Janet and Colin Board. North America's Great Ape, The Sasquatch by the late Dr. John Bindernagel. Bigfoot, The Yeti and Sasquatch and Myth and Reality by John Napier. The Scientist Looks at the Sasquatch by Roderick Sprague and Grover Krantz. And Raincoast Sasquatch, yes, by Robert Alley. Which, I'm, I, that's, that's definitely one I would put on this list. Because it's a great one. Even the short article about cryptid television. There's the guys from Mountain Monsters. That's uh, Pat Spain, the guy from Beast Hunter. He only, there was only one season of his show because he apparently uh, was diagnosed with cancer. And that's from Monsters and Mysteries in America. More uh, case files. And check it out, some artwork by Erie Eric. Eric for Giorgio. Got some of his artwork in here. It's, it's awesome. Articles about the Mokeli Mbembe with more artwork by Erie Eric. The Shunka Warakin, 
Another more artwork by 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 Eric, the Momo, and the Kongamato, the Breaker of Boats. And from the files of David Willey, and special thanks. And here are the contributors. Some of the here's the contributors: Lyle Blackburn, Ken Gerhard, Nick Redfern, and David Weather, David Weatherly. So. You can pick this up at MonstroBizarro.com. That's where Lyle Blackburn sells all kinds of cool stuff. T-shirts, books, uh, DVDs. Yeah, you can get it all there. All kinds of cool stuff at MonstroBizarro.com. The rating I would give this would definitely be a, uh, it, it, it's a 10. It's a, definitely a 10, no question about it. This is a tremendous little uh, magazine-sized um, um, trade paperback type thing. It's very comparable to the Newsweek Bigfoot edition from 2015. It's, made, it's, on, it's on thick, you know, cardstock paper. With the cover and everything, and the the pages are kind of glossy. So yeah, this is. I would definitely pick this one up, guys. For sure, this is this is an essential purchase if you're interested in all kinds of cryptids. Not just, of course, the hairy hominoids, but of course other weird animals and weird creatures. You know, everything from Mothman to Loch Ness Monster to Bigfoot to Chupacabra, Mongolian Death Worm, even the Jersey Devil. So, yep, guys, definitely do yourself a favor. Pick this one up.